All right, everybody, good evening and welcome to The Vocalist, a special edition, episode 22, quick view, show updates, and more. All righty, so, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to be here finally after uh, the, well, I'll call it the hellish month, or the month, literally, from death warmed over. Uh, not to get too dramatic on you guys, but I will tell you that uh, this past month has unequivocally been the most horrific experience of my life. Aside from me waking up in the morning and looking myself in the mirror with my hair all shunned up. And, uh, yeah, that's another story. Anyways, so I had E. coli. It's still working its way out of my system. I'll tell you guys, it's not a big thing. What well, was a big thing, I didn't know I had it. And this is the way it works. So because I have a strong defense system, I wasn't aware I was even sick or that I even had that virus in me. And what happened was the night it hit me like a ton of bricks. I went to the hospital. Doctors gave me some antibiotics thinking uh, that it was uh, some type of infection running through my blood. But, of course, they didn't know what it was. So they sent me home. And I was on that antibiotic for, I'd say, about a good week or so. Started feeling better. Wasn't COVID or anything like that. Maybe it was some fluke things. What I did have is I ended up passing some stones. So they figured maybe that's what it was and that was causing the infection. A week later... I started feeling nostalgic, just started feeling that same thing again. Same symptoms started happening. This time, it got worse. And I tell you, it was triple. The pain, the sickness, triple. Went to the hospital again. And by this time, it was so bad that they did a bunch more tests. I had already gone to my doctors, had some tests as well. This time, they sent me home with an incredibly strong antibiotic. My doctor calls me and says, you have E. coli. Now, how? I don't know. I've racked my brain trying to figure it out. Here's the messed up thing about it, is sometimes... You can get that and not even realize it. It may even just pass through your system, depending on how weak the strain is or where it came from, the pathogen and all that stuff. Um, but because I wasn't aware and I was just feeling slight symptoms, um, I let it go. And I can tell you that that wasn't probably the smartest move I've ever done. But again, I don't get sick as a rule, so I shrugged it off. Well, <clears throat> every time I said I started feeling better, it just repeated itself over and over. So by the time they figured out what it was and actually got me on the right stuff that I needed to help with it, uh, it had already done its damage. It was like a tornado just was swirling around inside me. Long story short, guys, uh, that stuff is no joke. It took me from 100 down to zero within days. And again, I can assure you that I have a very strong defense system. That doesn't matter. And I take a lot of natural stuff that allows me to do what I do without getting sick without compromising my immune system. However, because this was in my system for so long, and unbeknownst to me, it already started doing damage. So 
the antibiotic that they had given me treated me for the correct thing, uh, that has been working fantastically. So I am about 87% right now, which is a blessing. I feel very blessed and thankful that um, I am up to speed this fast. And hopefully this is passing and now I can focus on things I really need to focus on. So that's why I've been absent, guys. Uh, but the good thing out of it, I always say that out of every negative is a positive is it allowed me to really reflect and do a lot of thinking. Um, and especially for the things that I really want to change and add with the show. One of them is um, the way when people are searching for the episodes. Uh, that's going to change. So now it'll pretty much be visual. You guys can look at the thumbnails and we'll say the episode and we'll have everything there. So people don't have to keep scrolling to find a certain episode if there's a featured artist or what have you. It will say it. You can actually see it. Um, so we got some other great changes coming up. But before I mention these other changes, I first have to thank all my great friends out there, um, especially on Sync Snap. Blue Oval, uh, she's been fantastic. I know she's been trying to keep things together in my absence. Um, and again, guys, which as simple as this stuff seems the way I want to do it, it's not, there's a lot to it. There's a lot that goes on behind because everybody has jobs. We all have responsibilities. So this has to take a back seat when things happen. Um, it doesn't pay anybody's bills yet. So Blue Oval, she's been doing a great job lining things up, getting things organized, helped me out. She's been very, very patient through it all um, alongside of being a great friend. Uh, Argent as well. Um, Hope, um, all you guys. Dr. Woods, thanks for being so patient as well. Everybody's just been so kind and understanding and just so supportive. And I truly appreciate it. And I really, really listen to what everybody tells me, the advice and different feedback. Uh, so that has been fantastic because it allowed me to really think and revamp of how I want to move forward with this show, which I think will make it more interesting. So, yes, <clears throat> this show is all about music, but we're going to make it more. So we are already now... Uh, in communications with teachers and therapists who deal and work with people who have autism and music therapy and how music benefits and helps their lives. Uh, so we already did an episode of that, but we're going to continue. We're going to continue to do it so that we can get sponsors to help people uh, who have autism to, to really get the attention they need in regards to music and music therapy because we feel that that is such a big impact on people's lives and especially with what I've seen from the studies um, we played an episode all right and it just goes to show you how impactful music can be not only that but it also helps people all times depression, anxiety, stress. We discussed that, but we're going to actually feature it and get involved in it. We want to be a resource, if you will. Not just entertainment and, and, and news and music and everything else, but we want to be able to help people. And so if we can collaborate with many different people out there, resources, and if people can watch this show, and if it helps to inspire them, if it helps to get them answers, then we're beyond doing what we set out to do. So the cool things that are going to be changing, or should I say, added on, if any of you recall, when I started doing this, 
I had two shows in the works, this being one of them. The other was called The Breakdown. Now, I know that Blue is very interested in that. We discussed that. Um, what The Breakdown was all about was discussing and breaking down uh, the unknown, right? Or just weird things, the unexplainable things in life. And the things that I am knowledgeable on, I really wanted to debunk a lot of the beliefs out there, especially with the media, the shows that they have. Um, I really want to enlighten and show people between fact and fake. And what's great about doing that stuff is it really gets you thinking. There are a lot of people out there that may have seen things that they just can't explain, or they may have questions to things. Now, I don't know everything, but it'll be fun to discuss and research it together to get your opinions on things. It's not going to be political or nothing like that. It's going to be fun entertainment that will blow your minds. Because, guys, there's stuff out there that I just, I can't explain. But it's fun to try and understand it and make sense of it. And we want to debunk it. We want to put truth to this stuff. We want to put a lot of things to rest that are just theory or that is hypocrisy. Right? There's a lot of propaganda out there. And I really want to take that and just kind of squish it into a ball and just bounce it around the court a little bit and pass it to everybody and get the impressions and thoughts. It's really cool. It could be anything from lights in the sky to unknown creatures, whatever. But we're going to incorporate that into the show because I think that that really revolves around our everyday lives and we're going to also incorporate music of course and still continue to feature the artists and highlight them and talk with them but we're going to incorporate all these fun things rather than doing two shows we're going to bring it to one show so we're going to have different episodes where we're just going haywire about different stuff and we're trying to get it figured out so that we can have the commentary live because what I'm learning is that as simple as I thought this was, and I like to think I'm a pretty technical guy, I figure things out very quick, but as simple as I thought this was going to be, it's a little more complex than I thought, but that's okay. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to take a leap. I'm willing to take risks. And not knowing how things work so well, you figure it out as you go. But that's what's happening, right? It's a process. Uh, so hopefully, too, that we will be having our own intro theme, um, which we really want to have. Uh, one, so we can call it our own. Two, Sometimes when I'm doing the videos and I edit them and I go to upload them, what happens is YouTube catches certain things, whether it's music, phrases, or whatever, and it may not allow me sometimes. I've literally had to do like four different edits in one night before I could release a show because YouTube said that's a copyright. Now, we're not making any money off of it, but because it is copywritten, sometimes people may come back and say, hey, you can't do this. You can't use it. And I understand. So we're not here to fight with anybody, but we want to make sure that we're doing it the right way and that we don't piss anybody off, right? So hopefully we'll be having our own theme. Uh, that's in the works, you know, and again, it's, it's with, it takes time. We all work. We all have responsibilities. So when things come up, such as what happened with me, this show has to go on the back burner. 
Now, hopefully, guys, as we continue and the more people learn about us, the more interesting our show becomes, the more cool features and functions we have on the show, the more subscribers and viewers and so on and so forth. Hopefully, we can start adapting some sponsors. When that happens, we're able to reach out to more people and do a lot more to help people, especially with what I'm passionate about with the music and autism. I really want to have it so that people can have resources that they can grab from our show, uh, whether it's a mom, a dad, brother, sister, parent, whatever, and they'll be able to use the show as a catalyst to reach out and find things that they need that can help them. That's really what I want. That's my goal. My goal is not only to entertain everybody and have a good time, yes, but mainly to really help and assist those who need it. I believe in giving 100% to people without any expectations because I know that I'm doing my best to help somebody and everybody who's involved that has been guiding me, that has been helping out with the program, um, the back ends, what people don't see or hear. It's you guys that allow me to make the show better, not just for entertainment value, but to really help educate and influence people in a positive way. So there's going to be a lot of cool things that we're going to be bringing on to the show. And again, we're still keeping it music. We're still keeping it featured artists. But we're just going to bring more on to the show. So it just broadens the spectrum of what our show is all about. Might even change the vocalist. Maybe have the vocalist in there, but maybe add something different. So if you guys want to email some ideas, that'd be cool. And again, anything music, guys, um, unless otherwise specified by Blue Opal, you send to her. And when she has time, she will go through it. Again, we all have responsibilities. So sometimes things may take a little bit longer, but that's okay. We will get it done. And Dr. Woods, we have not forgotten about him. I would never do that. So we are still planning on doing the live interview with him. Uh, I can really pick his brain and talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, hopefully we'll have everything up and running where you can see both of us and hear the entire conversation and uh, really get his feedback and his experiences and let him tell his story only the way that the doc can tell it. Okay? So, guys, for right now, please keep sharing the link, subscribe, email us your questions, email us your ideas. What would you like to see done differently? Or... What would you like for us to do on a show? Maybe it's a certain topic that you have interest about and that you think could really go over well. Or maybe you have information that we can pass on. Um, maybe it's with autism or music or what have you. Uh, even Alzheimer's, that is, is, is something that we're going to be discussing as well because music has a great impact for people with Alzheimer's as well, depression, anxiety. So if you guys know or have resources that we can share with the viewers out there who are in need of things like that, not everybody has the capabilities of finding certain help that they need, or even the caretakers who are responsible for these people it's a very, very hard process for them to go through as well. So if we can help out a little bit, then that's a huge blessing. So again, guys, for now, I really want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I appreciate it. Don't forget, we're doing a lot more new backdrops. I'm actually designing a lot myself as we speak. Hopefully, we're going to have a new theme, one that is ours exclusively that nobody can take away and or that we don't get shut down for infringing on 
somebody else's copyright material. I don't want to do that. We want to do things by the book. So, guys, please stay tuned for the next update. I hopefully will have some more information for you. I may even do a sneak preview episode about the breakdown, but bring it into here tomorrow night and release that. So, I might. We'll see what happens. But if I do, you don't want to miss it. So again, guys, my name is Denny Curtis. I thank you so much for tuning in. And until then, be kind to everybody else. Be kind to yourself. And please, stay well. Until then, guys, God bless. Have a fantastic weekend.